Ladies and gentlemen, the comedy magic of Penn and Teller. Hey everybody, welcome back to our most recent installment of Fishing Reports. Uh, Dave with Trouts, here's Yvonne. My name's Teller, Dave. Oh. Or is it Penn? Penn. I, is Penn the big guy? I'm not sure, but if I'm the little guy, I, I don't have to talk her in this, so this will work out just fine for me. Yeah, well it's Penn and Teller. <laughs> I forget which one is which. That's how iconic of a duo they are. Right, right. Um, but it's, uh, things are looking up, it's, uh, you know, summer's sort of coming to a close. Yeah, it's mid-August, summer sort of not coming to a close. I mean, it's you know, still summer for, for sure. Labor but... Day weekend is quickly approaching. Right. Most kids are back at school, so, you know, we are starting to see a little bit of, uh, or fewer crowds along most of the drainages. Yeah. Obviously, weekends it's still crowded up there, but uh, you know, and, and dare I say that it's starting to cool off just a little bit. Certainly, the temperatures um, in the evening have uh, gone down quite a bit, yeah. and cooling off a little bit, which helps not only for just being outside, but throughout all our drainages and the and the low water we've had this year. So, yeah. so I think I think uh, when you look at the ten-day forecast for Vail, um, seeing see, seeing daily lows. Like 43, 44, right. 39. Those highs are, you know, not in, into the upper 80s. Low 80s, upper 70s. Seeing some creep down into the mid and low 70s. So, uh, forecast looks good. Uh, only means good things for fishing. That's Dave, right. take it away on the tailwaters. Tell us about the this south side, Dave. Well, you know, ironically, the Deckers area today, and again, we <laughs> talk about Deckers quite a bit, but you know, it's close. It fishes well. And looking at the flows today, it is actually above historic averages for this time of uh, the year. So, you know, that's good news. We'll take those small victories wherever we can get them. It's, yep. you know, around uh, 360 right now, which is a good thing. So uh, moving up a little bit, obviously the 11 mile section, that's a little bit lower. Uh, that is in and around 100. And then the Dream Stream had a little slight little bump up there as well. So, yep. and you know, ultimately, as we were talking about with temperatures, looking at uh, nightly lows up there, the forecast for lows up there has been in the, you know, mid to low 40s up there. So all good things as it relates to, you know, having those water temperatures cool off a little bit more. And, you know, we know late September early, or I'm sorry, late August and early September is prime hopper dropper season. So we're gonna continue to beat that drum right yeah. now. Um, again, one of the times you can walk into the shop and uh, virtually every pattern is going to work as long as you're getting that good drift on it. So, uh, football yeah, season. I'm going to interrupt you, oh, Dave. Oh, that's Some live, live from the river reports on the Dream. I know that Tanner and Harlan are up, uh, up there right now. And um, I've seen some nice rainbows be getting caught on uh, big chubbies and big foam. So. Who's, who's up there? Tanner and Harlan. Well, I'm glad, Tanner, to, I'm glad to hear there. that Harlan's catching some nice fish up there. Yeah, yeah. You could care <laughs> less about Tanner. Tanner, that's right. right. Exactly. So that's good. And then uh, I know that we've had a bunch of customers come in talking about how good the trek has been on right. 11 miles. So uh, that's a good thing as well. Go back to the football season. Though, Dave. Well, you know, football season is underway. And uh, for us Bronco fans out there, obviously, last Saturday was maybe not what we were looking to see out of our number two, num our number three guy. But in any case, with football season starting to kick off, hunting season starting to kick off, weekends, again, cooler weather, uh, we're gonna start to see diminishing crowds uh, as we move forward. So, um, you know, for me, September and October, those are my favorite months to be out on the water. And uh, clearly, even uh, with some of the lower concerns, lower water we've had in July, um, I think uh, we're headed on the, in the right direction right now, at least in, as it relates to some of the tail waters and whatnot. So, sure. um, so yeah, take advantage of it. Yeah, it's a classic Dave saying, take advantage of it. Um, let's take advantage of some good flows on the Colorado. Colorado's still got uh, quite a bit of water in it, uh, in a in a good way. Um, that middle Colorado, low Colorado. Let's section. say more water than it had previously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still up. Uh, I think it's still above uh, historic average. So, yeah, so it's um, a good thing. You, know, you have water coming out of Green Mountain. There's still 100 CFS coming out of uh, Williams Fork. So. Um, that middle and lo lower section are definitely uh, seeing some lower water temps and seeing some good fishing as a result. Hopper dropper, chubbies, hot tail, uh, hot spot or hot belly pheasant tails. I know that's a you know, go-to for a lot of those guys up in Frisco. So. Absolutely, and you know, since we just recently did our five flies, I mean the grillos patterns. I mean, yep. <laughs> fish those five flies the again. The foam king. The foam king. Take advantage of it. Hopper dropper. I really, I don't care where you go. I mean, if you find yourself having a nymph. Uh, you know, later in the afternoon, things start to, to slow down a little bit on the surface and stuff. 
Um, you know, along the Decker's area, you know, smaller stones, San Juan worms, trichos for sure, yep. PMDs, all PMDs. that stuff is going to work as well. Um, and again, those fish see a lot of different patterns and whatnot in there day in and day out. So think outside the box, actually think inside the box, change it up a little bit, and you'll find that uh, you'll get some good success. That's you like good. that? I like that. That's yeah. good. Um, in terms of the high country, still fishing well. Uh, I've been really enjoying uh, small parachute hoppers. Uh, those have been getting it done for me recently, a little sparser than your normal foam, but uh, they've been getting, getting the job done. Uh, otherwise, you know, classic mosquitoes. Um, Adams, um, L Cares, and then you can also go like true classics like Renegades. Renegades. You're talking my language yeah. right now. A Schroeder's parachute hopper. If I could have one hopper pattern for me, that's what I. That's what I like. It's a good yep. confidence fly for me. So, you know. But again, find uh, find the fly that you like. Fish it. Yeah. You know, if you fish it, you're going to fish it with success. If it's a fly that you uh, had good luck with on the past, so. Yep. Yeah. yeah, with all the lower lower air temps we're getting, or the you know the morning lows uh, in terms of air temps, um, it's a quick reminder that winter is going to come eventually. It is going to come. It's probably sooner than we realize. Right. Hopefully sooner than we Hopefully realize. Sooner. But uh, probably sooner than we realize, especially in the high country. So yeah. uh, you know, it's a ticking time bomb in terms of uh, not a ticking time bomb. That's a weird way to say that. <laughs> Dylan uh, Bloom guy over right, here. <laughs> right. But uh, you know, it's. The high country is not going to be right. available for much longer, so uh, get up there, get after it. Um, you know, the lakes have been fishing really well. So, and even the DSB through town, we yep. did our carp school over the weekend, and there were literally carp everywhere. Uh, got some new customers or new students in some carp, which was awesome. But uh, the reason I bring that up, man, some of the smallies that we saw in there. Yep. Uh, we did catch a small. We didn't catch any of the big, big smallies out there, but we caught some nice smallies in there. And I saw some really, really nice trout in there as well. Yeah, they're so, still holding, so yeah, they're still holding in there despite the lower flows, and they're you know acclimating in there. So if you're looking for that quick fix, fix, get down there, fish the DSP. There's some great carp action to be had down there. For sure. Um, Gold Broncos. Let's see a uh, better performance here this Saturday night. I know it's uh, preseason, but by the same token, we got to represent. All aboard the Swag Kelly train, huh? Well, he's 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 an Eagles guy. He's still riding the crest of that wave, yeah. so I can't blame for him. For once in my life, I had happiness. <laughs> For once in his life, he was able to get on that wave, so that's right. a good thing. Yeah, it's so. been a, it was a long road. It was a long so, road. Probably going to be a pretty long road afterwards <laughs> as well. Doom and gloom over here. Doom and gloom. <laughs> All well, right. listen, we appreciate you tuning in. Hope to see you out on the water. Take care. Bye. <laughs>